Hi, Paul Howe, CSAT Way. I want to give you one of my most favorite drills from the day. And this is uh, the multiple target engagement. So what I do is, I'm gonna show you a couple of things here. First, how I set it up. What I do is I start with a full lipstick, then I do heads. The rationale behind this is, you're gonna get the first shot at an enemy squad or the fire team on the full body, then everybody else, if they had any type of training, are gonna to move to cover. And all you're gonna get is a head to shoot at. Uh, upper torso. So you've got to think about that and this will put it in relation to a lot of different things. First set up, typical Ipsic, cut them and then what I do is I stand a 2 by 4 on edge, use roofing nails, I would take a piece of scrap to cap the ends so it stays upright and then I'll do one, two, three, four, five, just right down the row. So this is the setup. We're going to take you back to a shooting position shoot this and talk about the different variables and the learning points on this drill. See you in just a moment. Hi, right, Paul House, CSAT Way. We're back at our shooting position for this module. I'm gonna walk you through a couple things. What I'm gonna do is go ahead and load up. So if you would, eyes, ears. All right. A lot of people tell you a lot of different things out there in the world, but I want to kind of validate it with this drill. So what happens is I can set this up in an appropriate position that if I go to prone, what happens is I lose visual on all my targets. If I go to traditional kneeling and I stay up here, what happens is all I've got is the heads. So what happens is I might just take this and go standing on every target. And the rationale is this. If I got the drop on them and they're scurrying and they're planting, I can get bullets into them faster and I can make good solid shots. If I start bouncing different positions, I got to figure out time on target, resettling. If I go all the way down and I come back up. So again, this is one of those things you've got to shoot this drill multiple times to see what you can get away with. In this standing position here, what I can do is service the first target, that I can do where the ground meets every head. And then I'll either hit them direct or it'll skip into them. So we'll see how we do. All right, we've got eyes, ears. We're gonna go hot. Now, I can start static here or I can move into position. Normally when I start this drill, I start static, let them shoot it, get used to it, and then I can have them move into position, get a little cardio induced. We're just gonna go hot. All right, let's go check them out. We're down range right now, checking out our hits. Distance on this shot was about 85 yards or so. So what I did, I started full shots, this one here, and I started working these people. So shots right here, good solid shot, solid shot. This one here, what I did, it's low. It's right down here, I got a splash out of the two by four. So it should get his attention or make him move. Again, if his body is running the whole length, it's gonna skip and do different things. I can't tell you, depending on whether he's gonna be on dirt or asphalt. Down here, that should be a done deal there. Now, what happens is on this drill, you can do it different positions to look at terrain, the shot, require them to do different shots. They have to think outside the box when they're making the shot. It may not be a traditional position. It may not be the 25 yards in standing. It may be the 80, 90, 100. Vegetation, uh, obstructions will play into this. So once you get your baseline positions, don't be afraid to take them out a little further and expand it. I mean, shoot standing at uh, 100 yards, not a big deal. You should be able to hit a man at that distance with, with uh, this platform. Another thing I want you to notice is dust covers, and I'll just throw this in as a micro point. A lot of people get, hey, he didn't close his dust cover. You're, you're exactly right. If I'm in the game in a fast moving environment, I'm not losing time, hands off weapon, to close a dust cover. When I have time, then I'll close it. But I don't want to lose a shot in a fast moving game. Now, if I know I'm getting a helicopter, vehicles, dusting, whatever, I'll close it. So I'm situationally aware of that, believe it or not. So don't, uh, you, you, what we call dust cover Nazis out there, and we had them in special ops, uh, don't get excited. I'll close it when I need to. So I hope this drill helps you. You can run it rifle, pistol, you can do a bunch of different variables. You can change the vegetation in between, the, uh, the structure of the terrain, 
and let them work through it to get the shot required and the position required. Hope this helps you. I'll see you guys on the range.